All right, I'm back. And um, in my last video, I showed you how I did the terminal blocks to the LDD boards, and I actually finished this one. Um, as you see, I soldered on the LDD drivers. These are all uh, 700. This is the four LDD board, as you can see, one, two, three, four drivers. Um, I skipped this video. I was actually making it while I saw I made a mistake in one of my six LDD driver boards. As you can see here, the terminal blocks I soldered to the wrong side. Um, I could wire it like this, but uh, since I want consistency, I want them on the top. So I'm hoping to get some uh, solder wick tomorrow and uh, suck up that solder and be able to flip them over. If not, I might buy a new board, um, but this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping I can get that fixed tomorrow and I'll make a video over how I do the LDD drivers. It's basically the same as these. Um, they are a little bit closer together, so it is a little bit more tedious, but uh, other than that, I'm working on my fuge light here. I have uh, my LEDs laid out, except for this one. Um, basically, there's three different colors for, for my fuge light. There's red, deep red, and then two uh, royal blues. Uh, there's four deep red in total, two on the end here, and then two on the end here. The two reds are going to be in the middle here, top and bottom, and then the two royal blues are right here. And these are going to be running at the same current, so these are all these are all one channel, excuse me. And so what I did is I placed them where I wanted them. I have my wiring scheme. My wiring scheme is going to basically go um, from here. It's going to be the positive down, up, down, up, down. And uh, on this first star, I put a uh, one of these. They're called Bergwist. Bergwist bond. Basically, it's a star sticker that will stick from the star to the heat sink and it transfers the heat so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, your LEDs overheating. Um, these were just on LED Group I. I'm pretty sure on Rapid LED too. Um, so I did this first adhesive here. And um, just trying to figure out where I want it, how exactly how I want to do this. Um, I think I'm going to do it up and down. So it's going to be a little bit different. So I did the first side. Now I got to take this off. The other side, if I can get it, hopefully. Without pulling it off. And this is uh, becoming a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, I might have gotten it. Yep. Alright, I got it. I hope this is the right side. So one side it comes off clear, the other side it comes off white. So now I'm going to stick this on there. I want to get centered as possible. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna press it down. And it should be stuck. And it is. So now I'm gonna go with the top one now. So I'm going to take another sticker. Oh, this one already came off, look like. The sticker's messed up. I guess I'll go with this one then. Hmm. 
it's interesting. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use this sticker since I have extra. So there's a clear side that I just took off. squeezing that on there. Now, like I said, you want to avoid contact. Uh, you want to try to avoid contact with the lens or the actual diode. All right, and then I'm going to try to see if I get this white piece off faster than last time. And okay, I got it. I think. Yep. Alright, and then I'm going to place this LED. This one's configured a little bit differently than the one on the bottom, just how my wiring scheme is going to go. So. And uh, this one looks pretty good. So press down. All right, so basically I'm gonna do that to the rest of these three LEDs in the positions they are right now. Um, so I'm not gonna bore you. So I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll start rolling when I'm ready to solder the wire together. So I'll see you in a second.